stay tuned for another interesting episode. Hey guys, Crypto Keith here. We're looking at the cryptocurrency market capitalizations and we have some great coins um, that did did well over the past week here. Um, the top coin, probably Bitcoin Cash. No surprise to anybody that Bitcoin Cash has made people a lot of money. So when Bitcoin Cash went from $300 and spiked to above $700 here, it doubled there in uh, August and then again here in October we see it go from those $300 marks up to didn't quite reach $700 this time but this should have been your sign yes maybe maybe uh, it's not gonna happen right away but it's definitely coming the Bitcoin pump and this is where everyone bought up their tokens let the market go down a bit and then pumped it up so we had a huge pump here with Bitcoin cash and you could have sold up into almost the two thousand dollar range 1800 here so we multiplied if we bought down here we could have multiplied our money by three even four times they have a their main social media here reddit so they have frequently asked questions and things like that i'm sure it's now the po most profitable coin to mine bitcoin cash as well but i'm sure you could have got some hints from here that it was about to go up as well so here's a frequently asked questions what is Bitcoin Cash? Bitcoin Cash is peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash for the internet. It is fully decentralized with no central bank and requires no trusted third parties to operate. Now, a lot of people are controversial on um, the creator of Bitcoin Cash, Roger Ver, and the way he's trying to promote Bitcoin. And he's uh, basically, in a way, saying that he wants to kill Bitcoin um, and replace it with Bitcoin Cash. And moving into the future, the real companies that are going to succeed are the ones that can support an opposite or opposing opinion as well as their own, who can see everybody on an equal playing field. And uh, we see that Bitcoin Cash sadly has been lacking in this area. And uh, it's probably going to the creator's ego, how well his uh, his project is succeeding, because in a way he feels like he owns it, he created it, and maybe that's why we didn't have a creator with Bitcoin, because it was all about the token, and Bitcoin Cash is seeming to be all about politics, all about uh, people's point of view, and really about tacky attacking other people. Is Bitcoin Cash different from Bitcoin? Yes, Bitcoin Cash is the continuation of the Bitcoin project as a peer-to-peer -peer digital cash. It is a fork of the Bitcoin blockchain ledger with upgraded consensus rules that allow it to grow and scale. So basically, it has a bigger block size than Bitcoin, which is one of Bitcoin's flaws. So as well as Segwit2x was going to have, um, you kind of see that Bitcoin Cash uh, took advantage or th thrived on the fact that Segwit2x was scrapped. Do they have um, a hand in that? Who knows? But we do see that a lot of money moved out of Bitcoin and into Bitcoin Cash when the Segwit2x plans were scrapped or put on hold. If I own Bitcoin, do I automatically own Bitcoin Cash too? Yes. You can read through some yourself. There's also 
uh, a Bitcoin Cash website. Bitcoin Cash brings sound money to the world, fulfilling the original promise of Bitcoin as peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. Merchants and user users are empowered with low fees and reliable confirmations. The future shines brightly with unrestricted growth, global adoption, permissionless innovation, and decentralized development. All Bitcoin holders as of block 478558 are also Bitcoin owners of Bitcoin Cash. All are welcome to join the Bitcoin Cash community as we move forward in creating sound money accessible to the world. New features. On-chain scalability, Bitcoin Cash flows follows the Nakamoto roadmap of global adoption. So they think that they're more uh, Nakamoto's vision than Bitcoin itself. Roadmap of global adoption with on-chain scaling as a first step. The block size limit has been made adjustable with an increased default of 8 megabytes. So uh, they can also increase that going into the future. New transaction signatures. A new SIG hash type provides replay protection, improved hardware wallet security, and elimination of the quadratic hashing problem. New difficulty adjustment algorithm. Responsive proof of work difficulty adjustment allows miners to migrate from the legacy Bitcoin chain as desired, while providing protection against hash rate fluctuations. Decentralized development. With multiple independent teams of developers providing software implementations, the future is secure. Bitcoin Cash is resistant to political and social attacks on protocol development. No single group or project can control it. The Bitcoin mailing list is a good venue for making proposals for changes that require coordination across development teams. And here are some nodes, some wallets. So Ledger, Treasure have integrated a lot of people have at this point integrated Bitcoin Cash. Almost everybody. There's a frequently asked questions again. Bitcoin Cash is represented by a number of different ticker symbols depending on the service or wallet. BCH slash BCC are the most popular tickers with XBC being used to meet international standard for currency codes. And Bitcoin Cash did just undergo a fork. So here's the statement. Was the one mega block, one megabyte block size limit causing problems for Bitcoin? Yes, in 2017, capacity hit the invisible wall. Fees skyrocketed and Bitcoin became unreliable with some users unable to get their transactions confirmed. Even after days of waiting, Bitcoin stopped growing. Many users, merchants, businesses, investors abandoned Bitcoin. Its market share among other cryptocurrencies quickly plummeted from 95% to 40%. This is not true. It hasn't stopped growing. Bitcoin is still growing, although he is, uh, I just watched um, him speak at a meetup there recently, and um, he was saying he can't wait till the legacy chain dies so he, he doesn't have to keep referring to it. No, he just wants to take over legacy and, and legacy's name. And this is a very uh, very egotistical way to, way to do things. You can create a better um, coin and let the world decide. You don't have to try to force people to buy, to take their money out of Bitcoin and put it into Bitcoin Cash or um, tell people that Bitcoin is dying because that's not the truth. That's just my opinion. And I think if he, if he stopped doing that and just watched the way he talks a little bit more, he'd be a lot more successful with Bitcoin Cash. So here we can see uh, what is Bitcoin ABC. Bitcoin ABC is a full node implementation of the Bitcoin Cash protocol with a future roadmap of massive scaling. Bitcoin ABC allows an immediate block size increase with a simple sensible adjustment block size cap. So this is the fork that's going on um, with Bitcoin Cash. So it says here, Bitcoin ABC 0.16 is out, hard fork ready for new difficulty adjustment algorithm. Remember to update your software before November 13th. So it was, it seems purely for the mining, the fork, 
and uh, that's about all it's going to do. It's going to change uh, how Bitcoin Cash is mined. And then here, buy Bitcoin Cash right now. You're going to regret it if you don't. Wonder when this was three hours ago. Come on, guys, you couldn't have told us this before it went up to 1,300. We have Bitcoin Cash, it's down today. Uh, and we also have BitDeal that's down here as well. On the ups, we have uh, Electronium, B3 Coin, Byteball Bytes, Monaco, and Z Coin. I think uh, I, I would have liked to get into Byteball Bytes earlier. I'm not too sure about the price right now. I might wait for it to go down a bit. I probably could have bought some a week ago when it was down or a few days ago, uh, but I just didn't get around to it. Monaco um, is at a good price. Zcoin. What is Zcoin? Look at open trading. We did a review of that last week sitting at $40 right now. So uh, we're going to check out Zcoin here and uh, we're also going to check out BitDeal. Zcoin we'll check out first. It's at $18. Where the hell did Zcoin come from? We see here we could have bought it relatively for nothing, 0.330 cents uh, in January, $6 in July, $6 in September, and you could have bought it for nine, ten dollars in the beginning of November and doubled your money basically. So where did uh, Zcoin come from? We see we can uh, follow their social media here. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Exactly that. Mind your own business. Hey everybody, I'm Joyce and I'm back here with episode 2. Before we start on the topic of mining, um, I really just want to talk about where cryptocurrency actually comes from. So, the ones that we are familiar with, we have... Zcoin.io, if you would like to check it out yourself. Private financial transactions enable by the Zero Coin Protocol. In order to solve the double spending problem, all transactions on, on Bitcoin must be stored in public ledger. See there. Trying to explain what Bitcoin is to a lot of people. Notable studies have shown that the same techniques used to analyze social network topology can be used to analyze Bitcoin's network topology. Anyone can use the public ledger to break privacy, including powerful corporations and institutions such as the NSA. How does Zero Z Coin improve privacy of the Bitcoin protocol? With Zero Coin technology, you can mint a coin found on the public ledger into a private coin. Spend. When it is time to spend your minted coin, the owner of a minted coin does not need to be revealed. Repeat. The process of minted and spending a coin can be completed as many times as you want, ensuring complete privacy. Stats. Total supply is 21 million. They have this Lira 2Z proof of work, anonymity set 1000 plus. Z nodes incentivize nodes. Those would be interesting to look into getting a, a Z coin master node. Audibility supply, yes. Audit ability, auditable supply. Zcoin is a digital cryptocurrency that puts financial privacy at the forefront, where your transactions are completely untraceable. It is built on the solid fundamentals of the Zerocoin paper, one of the most cited cryptography papers today. Bitcoin and most other cryptocurrencies are not really anonymous, as all transactions since the founding of the coin are permanently open for the public to view. Researchers, governments, and law enforcement agencies have made significant strides in using metadata and pattern analysis to reveal the real-world identities of Bitcoin holders. And this is a serious privacy problem. 
Imagine having all your transaction history and spending habits revealed, or worse, innocently ending up with coins that have been tainted from illegal activities. Not only is your privacy at risk, your coins could be seized, or you can even be implicated in a crime you didn't commit. Other attempts to anonymize transactions involving mixing transactions with other people's transactions, but this still means that the real transaction is somewhere in there, and its privacy is reliant on how many transactions you are mixing with. These models still provide an analyzable network map of links. Zcoin uses zero-knowledge proofs to make truly untraceable coins. You mint a coin by burning it up and generate a mathematical proof that you burn it. This proof allows you to redeem a new coin with no previous transaction history. A clean slate. That's the genius cool. lies in that the proof doesn't reveal which coin you minted. Thus, there is no relationship that can be drawn from the coin you minted and the brand new coin you redeemed. No history to analyze, no mixing required, That's just truly untraceable guys. coins. Reclaim your digital financial privacy. No more Bitcoin mixers. Because it is true. My uh, my dad came to me yesterday and he's, I somehow convinced him he invested $1,000 into Bitcoin uh, a couple months ago. And he's made over double his money. But he came to me and he said, why do I keep hearing that Bitcoin is being used for terrorism? And why are, you, are we hearing this? It's not to stop Bitcoin, but it's so that the people in uh, Congress and the government can use our tax dollars to fund things like what they were just talking about, NSA, uh, using me megadata or metadata to find the identity behind users. And I'm sure they, they know most uh, users are on exchanges. They can definitely uh, trace back to the, the person that's using them. Because most people on exchanges use the same address over and over again. And uh, makes it easy after a certain amount of time to link that to them. They, all they need to do is have one transaction that links it to them like selling their bitcoins on somewhere like local bitcoins that makes you upload your ID. So just one transaction of you transferring your money to local bitcoins and selling it and then that money going into your bank account uh, is all they need to find the identity behind a user. But if they are putting lots more money into it, they can find the identity behind probably most wallets, not even just exchanges. And uh, they're probably putting a lot of energy and money into that right now. So Zerocoin, Zcoin, I definitely see a need in the use for. That's the reason I invested in Monero uh, year, uh, over a year ago when it was $8. Because I saw the use for it and the need for it. Especially on places like dark web uh, sites and hidden marketplaces where you buy things on the black market. Um, or people that are doing any real transactions on the dark web. Uh, they, they're not uh, anonymous unless they also have an anonymous currency to use as well. And so that's why you'll see the price of things like this go up. Real quick, we're going to go over BitDeal. I don't want to make this video too long. They have uh, Twitter here. Right, Russian power companies look to sell excess energy to Bitcoin miners. So BitDeal came onto uh, coin market cap here at really five cents and it went up to around 60 cents 65 cents so you made 20 times your money and then it went down back here to uh, 30 cents which is still um, quite a bit quite a ways uh, away from uh, Five cents. So you could have made money on this coin. Um, I'm sure it's going to go up to there to the around the dollar mark. So what is BitDeal? The payment method of the future is available now. What is BitDeal? BitDeal is a digital currency that allows two willing parties to conduct safe and private transactions anywhere around the world. The sharing economy 
mixed with cryptocurrency. Their vision, create the next wave of cryptocurrency, will be widely used in the community like other existing currencies. This looks straight up just like a business plan. <laughs> Probably uh, someone not very uh, big that created this. But that's okay. Mission, create the BitDeal centralized ecosystem. Create a financial instrument in financial market, BitDeal stock. The sharing economy, their core values, BitDeal value increases with time. Aim of crowdfunding, how to crowdfund, ending crowdfunding. Yeah, straight up, this is a, a very simple business plan. The video isn't even working. So I take back what I said about investing in BitDeal. You have to do your own research um, because from what it looks here on their main page, I wouldn't invest in it, uh, the state it's in right now. But um, that's it for today, guys. If you want to look into these coins more, do so. We'll be back tomorrow with brand new tokens.